warrior with the hands That's what I'm all about Hunger in my eyes Vengeance in my mouth They don't want no altercation Situation gon' get critical It's best that you be easy The end gon' be biblical Look, flow like a river It's something like a miracle Royalty in my veins Loyalty in my waist Pay back in every breath Plus revenge in my heart The truth in every word Bring light into the dark And I ain't never lukewarm Shit I blazing in the season Got plenty food for thought Just gotta watch who I'm feeding Now they walking with them angels So I guess I got this pistol for no reason Niggas barely breathing Criticizing all my achievements Won't make me weak Nah, it won't make me slack off These niggas baby fat So I'm better bear witness or back off I be ripping shit like sackcloth Dumb dogs all barked out Behind me say I cup full No room for emotion So I pour my heart out This roll hard but I intend to stay And if it ain't UPK Then they in the way My niggas righteous, they real They down to suffer Flow so deep, they drown a motherfucker he say he in the truth, oh yeah, bro, this the home And I don't hate them brothers, I'm just too loyal to my own Plus what they believe, hard for me to follow No rank me, no head, and I ain't leaving this body to live and sleep it hollow So when they ask I'm UPK, you tell them absolutely And I ain't trimming my ways for nothing, gotta execute me Cause I can never die with my tail tucked between my legs Shit I be thinking, watching my daughters tucked in they bed they so smart, and Alana, she so beautiful But they ain't like other babies, and they daddy far from usual Now I'm missing cause I'm about my father's business It ain't about this shit I used to do in that 98 Navy The tan leather seats See, without wisdom, this world make you weak I found out that the truth was bitter The lies are sweet, tried everything I guess me and Yohanna had to meet Now I make the blind see and I make the dead speak and teach both my little girls the day that they lie with a man. They better bring their bloody bed sheets. Chaos match the time. This Glock match my headpiece. And I ain't trying to take him out, but I will defend this house. Or take a check. 144 in that black trench on some hitman shit. She call me 47. Praying for Armageddon Me and my soldiers dressed for the wedding Fuck the fame Ask why tell them I'm Lord to the king Until the righteous reign Lord to the king I want that straight lane to break the chain Lord to the king The devils can't have me Please I'm Lord to the king Bring that hot flame new bitch Hey Lord to the king Until the righteous reign Lord to the king I want that straight lane to break the chain Test one, two, 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 two. I don't know how the bone it was to be a gangster. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. The Lord said, confession good for the soul. So right now. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made before the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time and I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made before the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time and I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call. To be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had your life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success with me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. 
Remember running with bruh, even though we did the wrong thing. My life would been a lot different if I fell up under Rob's wing. Was too sincere for a wicked game. Shame the Lord's name. Now we afflicted with pain. All I ever wanted was to be respected by stand up niggas. Not knowing that them handcuffs custom made the fight. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, and I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, and I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design. Cause when you in the streets, you get more indignant. They don't tell you gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court From the D.C. school, I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch The Lord said, my sheep, they ain't hear my voice Ask me why I'm UPK, I told them I ain't have a choice They said, God ain't 50-50, what's gonna come to pass? The Lord called me out the world and I started running fast All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know, I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, and I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, and I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. It should be K until it hit the fan. I want power in the throne, nigga, fuck them grams. All I wanted was to be a gangster, but I was really as a righteous man. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So lock you. Just adjust this joint right here. All right, so you're looking good. I hope everybody can hear me. Just fine. Just bear with me just a second. Yeah, I think I think that's too wild. I'm just checking the live. Online to see if everything is copacetic. Just a moment. Count, there it is. There it is. Smooth. Most high in Christ. All right, man. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Baraka Thada, all my brothers. Yahweh Shamar Allah Thada Bahashim Yahweh Shah all my sisters. You understand? This is Unplugged from the Matrix. Shalom, Ak. What's going on, brother? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Baraka Thada. You know what I'm saying? Shalom, sisters. We got some people coming up in here. Most high in Christ. You know what I mean? I'm just uh going to go ahead and just set this joint up, man. We got some other brothers um coming in shortly. You know what I'm saying? But most high in Christ, that's what it is, man. This is Unplugged from the Matrix. Priest and officer 500 Thaba Wan. You understand that the ISUPK and the commanding general Yohana. This is, you know what I'm saying, the show where we bring out you know what I'm saying? Anything we can, really, whether it be articles or different uh, documentation, uh, just different things to show to our people, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Of course, this show was brought to you by the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohana. You understand? It's brought to you by the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohana. We teach the truth according to the Bible that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the real Jews in the Bible. You understand? And in this place here in America, in, in, in the earth, really, you know what I mean? Our people have been caught in a strong delusion. This delusion has been set up for, to be honest with you, for thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a new thing. This began before slavery. You know what I'm saying? And so this show, we call it Unplugged from the Matrix because every single day, there's something that you can see, whether it be in your news, whether it be on your social media feed, Whatever it may be, there's something that you will see that if you just go a little bit deeper and just pay a little more attention to it, you will see it will demonstrate the reality of our situation. It will demonstrate that we are not in our comfort. We're not in our heaven. You understand? These other nations, 
they're in their heaven. What we are in is in hell in America. You understand? Hey, Salakia, just bear with me one second. Hey, Shalom, what occurs? Yeah, I'm going to try to send it to the other one. Come, send it right now. All right, All right Shalom, what occurs? Okay. Salakia, that was my brother. We might have uh, uh, another guest in just a second. Let's see. Let's see. One second. Hold up. Because um, my brother, Officer of a Thousand, so let me just say that too. Well, usually, I will have my brother, Officer of a Thousand, Ayaz Ab, uh, Adawan, here with me as well. He he should be in uh, not too long from now. You know what I'm saying? He just has some things he, he had to deal with. I believe he, he's dealing with some, some, uh, some medical issues or whatever. I believe he's dealing with a tooth condition. Okay. So he, he'll probably be up in shortly. So so just bear with us. But I got another brother. I'm trying to get in, in the live to, 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 to hold it down for a little while with me. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a fresh face. You know what I'm saying? My brother also out here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Representing ISUPK North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? This brother, of course, is a strong brother in the truth. Many of you know him. Let me see if, if, if the email went through. Because I sent it to him. I sent him the link. Okay. No sweat. In the meantime, until until the brother gets in, you know what I mean? I just want to talk, uh, just give a little brief overview of today's show of what we're going to be getting into. And again, I encourage everybody who's watching and if you're, you know what I'm saying, anybody um, who's familiar with the channel, if you're not familiar with it, you know, Shalom, I, Shalom, my brother Kodum up in here. Yeah, how about you, man? We encourage everybody, of course, to like, share, and subscribe to the show. You know what I'm saying? To, to make sure you just post it everywhere. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And um, and also, you don't forget to like it as well. And if you... And we want this to be very interactive. That That's another thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't be shy. Feel free to comment. Feel free to get up in here. If, you, if, you, if there's a story that you believe that we should be uh, uh, touching on, you know what I'm saying? Post it in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Post it in the comments. Send it to us. I believe there's an email uh, that we have as well that you can send stuff to. And it's a phone number if you want to join the live. Um, I don't have it at the moment. You know what I'm saying? But that that is also a, a possibility. We're gonna we're, we're building this channel up now that we have a platform that is allows us to kind of get more people in. You know what I'm saying? It's a little more seamless. Than how the old format was, and also, of course, we also have a, a, a better time that seems to that definitely works for us, me and my brother Ayaza Ab better. Uh, but it also seems to work for the people more because we've been seeing them views, man. And we, we're seeing everybody who's been participating, and we really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? We, we appreciate the love. So let's just keep the machine going. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it, keep rocking it, keep rocking with it. But um, so until my brother gets in, uh, I just want to give a brief overview of what we're gonna be. Ooh, we. Multi in Christ. Shalom, Adawan. Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Hey, man. We are just, we we have been, you know what I'm saying, like, we have been, have bestowed upon us the presence of my brother, man. That's a strong brother right there, man. Officer of 500, Yara Mock. You know what I'm saying? Out of Durham, North Carolina, up in the spot, man. He's going to be holding down the show with me. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And then Ayah will be in relatively shortly. What's going on, sir? Not much, man. You understand? Know just got up here. Ready to rock this show out, man. Let's get it on. That's what it is. If I may, this brother is special because when I told him that if he wanted to hold down the show with me, he didn't even hesitate. He was just like, Khan. He <laughs> barely knew what time the show was starting, but he just knew, Khan, I'm down. At first, he thought he was doing it at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and he still was trying to do it. So, <laughs> most high in Christ. You know what I'm saying? No sweat. No sweat. Khan, Khan, Khan. So, uh, I'm going to get to do a brief overview uh, these topics uh, we're about to go into, you know what I'm saying? And again, if anybody has any comments or whatever, just go ahead and just say it in the chat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to interact with y'all today. Uh, same thing, I don't want to, please, if you if you hear anything or whatever you want to address, you know what I'm saying, just stop me and, and go ahead and just uh, say what you got to say, sir. So it's an open platform. So the first topic or the first thing we're going to get into for today's show, let me just find my notes here. First thing I want to talk about is... Well, two stories, you know, that really just kind of just hit me. Uh, the first story is out of New York, right? 
a story out of New York where it says, this is in the Daily News. It says, black boy 11 forced to kneel and apologize by white headmaster who called it the African way. You understand? Now, <laughs> already there's a lot going on with that. Um, kneeling in front of white headmasters, African ways. And no, I believe it is not an African child. If it was an African child, we wouldn't give a damn. You understand? Right. But we're going to read that article. That's out, of, that's out of Long Island, out of Hempstead. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna get some uh background on that. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, hold up. But he was uh, Holian, who was white, told Paul, who is Haitian. Yup, the, the boy is Haitian. So we got proof right here. The brother would be the young boy would be from the tribe of uh, of Levi. Okay, and he was forced to kneel and apologize to this white. I guess you could say like in the Catholic school and the diocese would be like a principal, right? Hey, Please. So like it, hey, brother, um, where do we, how do I, how do I share this live? How do I share this? Uh, you get the YouTube link. Cause if you share that link, mm -hmm. that will actually give people access. They can't just hop in, but that right. would give them access to be almost in the show. If you just want to share the, um, the video, let me see. I think officer Ayaza Ab has already shared it to the, um, to the um you got group the uh, yeah 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 to the to the facebook group chat gotcha i see it now right. yeah yeah so you can take that link and you can send that link gotcha count most high in christ right. so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that story then another one man this is really disturbing and and disgusting so we, we have got to uh to get to this one this is a story out of where where this happen let me see kentucky this is a story out of Kentucky, man, where it says a career criminal accused of raping eight-year-old black child won't stand trial due to state loophole and white privilege. So this man actually raped a child, an 11-year-old black girl, raped an 11-year-old, sorry, an eight-year-old black girl, and also hit her, uh, uh, he assaulted her and hit her in the head with some kind of shovel or something like that absolutely this is if i may an offense punishable by death right certainly in the scriptures and in america we're going to see what they're going to do with this with this 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 white man he's there's a loophole that's going to allow him he won't even forget getting off scot free he's not going to stand trial so we got to talk about that okay uh what else we got we got two stories that are kind of tied together I'm gonna try to try to kind of like link those. One story is about one second. Well, uh, here we go. One story. Yeah, I, ho I hope you. I hope you over there got something to sip on out of one. Read my mind. Ah, because <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying. That's no, what it is. Most high in Christ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I can't do the show without a little something. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna discuss: Michael Brown Jr.'s father demanding $20 million from Black Lives Matter group, says, so like your family's foundation has not received support from movement. So we titled today's uh, episode, False Leaders Everywhere. Because you're gonna find that in America, that whether you follow your so-called blackity black group, whether you follow your so-called Muslim group, your Christian group, or if you follow America, you know where it's gonna lead blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians to death. In right. destruction. It's not going to lead you anywhere that's beneficial for you. The only place that's going to do that is the ISUPK under command of Juliana. And we're going to prove that today, of course. So Michael Brown is saying that the Black Lives Matter movement has earned all this money from his son's death, and they have got no support whatsoever. In conjunction with that, then we got a story. Tamir Rice's mother, Tamika, oh, sorry, Tamir Rice's mother, I forgot her name, it starts with an S, Samaria, I believe, Samaria Rice. Uh, criticizes Tamika Mallory after Lil Baby's Grammy performance. So there was a performance at the Grammys. Uh, Lil Baby performed a song. Um, and then Tamika Mallory, who's like, I don't know exactly, we'll get exactly what she is, but she's like an activist, Black Lives Matter person. She did a speech. And this sister, whose son, of course, we know was, tra was 12 years old, I believe, was tragically killed in a park by a police officer for having a, um, what was a, some kind of fake gun, a BB gun. Something right. like that. Um, she criticized them. And she said, we're going to read it. But she basically said, 
that these people who are up here parading around uh, getting all this clout about Black Lives Matter, they haven't lost anything. They haven't lost anything and everything that they do doesn't help us as black people because all it does is make us look like more of a joke. We're gonna get that out of the sister's mouth herself. And if we have time, the last thing I wanna discuss, uh, well, we're gonna discuss Salakia. The last thing we're gonna discuss is an extra article. I don't think I sent it to the Ottawa. I didn't send it to Oversight as an ah. Uh, but I saw this and I'm just like, oh, we another one. Every week we got one of these. Let me put the pr brother's picture up. It's a black Texas man dies while in police custody, arrested for possession of marijuana. This brother right here, you understand? This brother right here was killed in Texas this week and the arrest was for possession of marijuana. You understand? So we're gonna go ahead and, and, and delve into these topics um, and, and really just get right to it. So is there anything you wanna say out of one before I start to read the first article? I mean, that, those are some heavy topics. I was gonna let you get get into the first one before you know I, I open it up on what we're gonna do. Con on the one con, most high in Christ. All right, so let's go to this first one. Let's go to this first one. Here we go. It says, black boy, 11 forced to kneel and apologize by white headmaster who called it the African way. This is out the Daily News. New York Daily News, a white Long Island Catholic school headmaster forced a black 11 year old student to kneel down and apologize to a teacher, calling it the African way to say sorry. The Daily News has learned Hempstead mom, Trisha Paul, says it was disturbing enough to learn about the punishment of her sixth grade son at the hands of St. Martin de Porres Mar Marianist School headmaster, John Holian. But she was even more shocked when Holian, now this is what I think is going to be the pause, the meat and potatoes of this topic. But she was even more shocked when Holian, who is white, told Paul, who is Haitian American, so her son is Haitian, he learned the approach from a Nigerian father who said it was an African way of apologizing. I feel we have to <laughs> say something about that right there. Right. So this white headmaster is telling this black woman, this Haitian woman, right. oh yeah, I made your son um, kneel because an African man told me that that's how, that's how Africans do it. Good night. So <laughs> this, this is a this is a boy who is who sent off to what one of them boarding schools sound a, like yeah it's not, not not quite a boarding school mm -hmm. but a catholic school right so you in new york this happened in long island in Hempstead, which is a predominantly black neighborhood you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. in, in long island one of the few in long island right uh not too far from south side jamaica queens and um these catholic schools are all over the place yeah. i went to a catholic college you know what right. I'm saying? We have Catholic high schools. In, in Queens, we got St. Francis Prep and St. John's Prep and, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Malloy. All these different, uh, these Catholic-based high schools. Right. So it's not like a boarding school where they get sent off, but right. it's still one of these schools where some of these kids, like my sister went to uh, a Catholic school, St. Francis Prep. They had to do, uh, I forgot what they call it, the, the mass where, you know, you got to walk in the the... the the, the 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 father has to put the bread in your mouth and then the wine and all of this stuff. That's what they these kids have to do in high school. So mm -hmm. it's one of those type of schools I want. Okay, no so so no swear. So this this mother sends her son <laughs> to this school because she believes that sending her son to this school is going to give him the absolute best education. That's right. That New York is, has to offer. Damn right. So she sends her son to go there so that he could learn skills to be a scientist or so like, a doctor, kind of a doctor or a lawyer or you know understand what whatever you know he he wants to choose to do he he goes there so that he can get an education but of course you understand he he goes to this school and this white you understand headmaster makes this boy bow down to him on his knees like some filthy stinking african man you understand to apologize and and you know, I, I I almost I want to figure out what he was apologizing for. You understand? I, I would like to know. Does it say does it say what he did? Mm -hmm. That 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 what was the reason he had to apologize for in the yeah. first place? What what was? Uh, let, let, let's see. 
Let's let's see if it if it says what he had to apologize for. I don't know if it does, but it says um uh once this is a quote once he started mentioning this African family, then it just oh wow. See, you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. I didn't even get into reading the whole joint. I saw the title, I'm like, oh, I gotta go into that. Listen right. to what this mother says. <laughs> it says once he started mentioning this African family, that's when it just clicked, said Paul. This is the mother. Like mm -hmm. This is not normal procedure. I felt there was no relevance at all. Is he generalizing that everyone who is black is African? That's when I realized something is not right with this situation. It doesn't say what he did. Uh, let me see. I'm scrolling down a bit. Decline the conference specifics. No, it, it doesn't. Uh, the incident school said. I'll just show you the uh, uh is it not nope nowhere does it say what he was apologizing for it, it doesn't say it doesn't say that it just says really is focusing on the idea that this white headmaster believed well because some african man told me that's how it goes i should make this little black boy or at least that's how they're painting it right and, and so and so this mother like i said before this mother sends this son mm -hmm. To, to go to get an education and he is ridiculed and, and, right. and embarrassed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like to, to imagine yourself being put in that situation. Come on. Have to bow down in a school full of your peers. You understand? Mm -hmm. Full of the people that you, you know, hang around with every day to this white man. Right. You understand? Knowing the his, like here's what gets me. Here's what, and I was having a a, a conversation with a, with a sister the other day about this. She was asking a couple of questions, mm -hmm. right? And one of the questions she she had a, a, a problem with, well, not necessarily a problem, but she said that, you understand, white people are heathens. They have a problem with, you understand, the fact that they get ridiculed if they try to speak on black, black problems. They get ridiculed on if they try to speak on, you understand, how black people kill black people in the ghettos. Mm -hmm. And it's not fair. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the problem is this. You, you're absolutely correct. You don't have no place on this earth to speak on what black people have to, or, or, or what black people right. is going on, right. or have going on, because for one, you're the reason why our people is here. Damn and right. We have not recovered from that. That's right. You understand? So that's why it's a problem when, you understand, our oppressor does certain things. You understand? So for him to go and to even think in his, for one second, <laughs> that to, to make this black boy, his previous slave, you understand, to bow mm. down on his knees with his face towards the earth mm -hmm. in a damn school. Right. You understand the, the, the audacity of this head man, of this white man, to make this boy bow down, you understand, and, and just worship him at his right. feet. It ain't have nothing to do with no damn apology, man. Right, that's right. right. And you know it don't got nothing to do with no apology because if, if it was that big of a deal, they would have mentioned what the hell he did wrong. Right. If it was that big of a deal, they would have said, you know, th this man, he did this, did this, and he had to apologize for it. It don't got nothing to do with what that brother did. Right. That's Understand right. It? it has everything to do with the, uh, the all oppressor being the devil, and he wants oh, to God. control the force at any given time that he wants. And if I could, Please. if I could pull out a scripture. Yeah, let me, let me read it for you. Right, you get Isaiah 51 and verse 23. Come on, come. Right. This is this is so much what what it is that we're living in, man. This this is what that what, what happened to that black boy is the truth of America, man. Come on, come. The truth. That's like, right. like you, we hear all day about how brothers get shot in the street or mistreated in restaurants because they're gang bangers or they're drug dealers or they murderers and liars and thieves. Mm -hmm. But here you are, you got this boy who is who is trying to be on the the white path right he's trying to get the education and wear the uniform and mm -hmm. be upright and you know have a high status in america and even though he is living amongst you understand all oppressors and learning amongst all oppressors trying right. to get education he still is shown just how belittled he is in america that's right damn that's right and come so on, come on. get this scripture right here okay, i got it this is the book of isaiah chapter mm -hmm. 51 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, man. You understand? Like, he, he, I, and I brought this scripture out, the other scripture uh, to this one in my last class on Tuesday, that you understand, we don't consider what the Lord is doing. 
You understand? People read these articles like this, and, and like you said, what the mother said, that she was shocked and she was surprised. Mm -hmm. At some point, it has to not be surprising no more. Right. At some point, these things have to stop being shocking because the Lord, you understand, created these people to, to and, and is allowing them to afflict us. What we got to understand is we have to stop trying to love them so damn much. That's right. And we got to stop trying That's to right. push our people closer to them. Because the more and more we fight to push our people closer to them, the more and more this is going to happen. That's right. That's Damn right. Can I select you? Mm -hmm. uh, which have said to thy soul, mm -hmm. bow down. Which have said to thy soul, bow down. Perfect. Scripture. You understand? Bow down. Get on your. You understand? Back in slavery time, what would they do when a when a, when the old white master had an illness or a sickness? They would make that little boy bow down and put his feet on his back right. so that that virus or that infection would pass through his his body mm -hmm. and give it to that little boy. You understand? This has been happening since we've been in America. Damn right. And ain't nothing changed. That's right. That's, and that's all they want us to do. They, that's all they want to see us do. They want to see us bow down. You understand? With Colin Kaepernick, when he when he taking a knee for the national anthem, man, they 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 can't live like that. Right. And they can't they can't run America like that. They have to take his job away. That's right. Because the only way that America thrives is if black people are still on their face and That's they need right. God and worshiping them, man. Damn right. That's the only way. Come come. That we may go over mm -hmm. and thou hast laid thy body as the ground mm -hmm. and as the street mm -hmm. to them that went over. And they walk right over us, man. They leave our dead bodies in the street to rot for people to see. You understand? And they walk right over us, not giving a damn about what they're going to do to that boy. Damn right. Not giving a damn about, you understand, the the, the consequences that that, that 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 boy is going to have to deal with. To like, I can't imagine. I couldn't imagine right. <laughs> being told to bow down to, to some like, good night. Good night. You understand? So like, yeah, but that... Uh. that that no, 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 that's a, that's, that's a perfect yeah. scripture, Adewan. And if I if I may, uh, I got another scripture. I don't know if you you, you can go ahead and I'm, I'll read it, and you can just break it down. I feel like it goes right with what you just uh, what you just pulled out. Pause. Yeah. And for today's topic of false leaders everywhere, man, because like you said, this mother sends her child, and I've seen it many times. Like I said, where this took place is not far from where I where I'm from, where I grew up. Right. Mothers do this all the time. All the time, mothers are sending their little black kids. My mother did it. She sent my sister to this um, Catholic school. I went right. to a Catholic college. It's a, you know, especially when it comes to that sports. You 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 familiar with Christ the King, right? I don't want. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah. With it. You familiar with Christ the King? I don't know if that's a Catholic school, but it's another one of those white religious schools mm -hmm. that people send their black, especially if you're an athlete. You know what I'm right. saying? That's where all the athletes go. All the the Kenny Smith went to Malloy. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the players like that go to St. John's or they go to Christ the King and, or something like that. And so, like, if not to cut you off, but it, it's such a it's, it's such a coincidence that the money makers is there. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is supposed to be about God and education. Right. But the money makers are in the building. Exactly. You know because you're, you're slaves to them, man. Con of the one con. Is, con, so, con. so I, I was going to read uh, First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 11 because these leaders keep sending us to these people, man. Mm -hmm. They keep sending us in the midst of these people. So let, let me know when you got it, sir. And I, I'm, I'm going to read it for you. Come on, I'm there. Most High in Christ. Mm -hmm. It's the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. In those days went there out of Israel wicked mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. who persuaded many, saying, mm -hmm. let us go. Slock you, sir. Uh, no, I was about to say, you know who those wicked men are. You understand? You know who those wicked men, those are your, your mm -hmm. Christian pastors, man, your yeah, right. C.D. Jakes, your Al Sharptons, your Martin Luther King. That's and right. That, those people who was, who was esteemed to be higher than everybody else in the nation of Israel, man. Right. You understand That's who right. has that pool to be able to gather blacks and Hispanics, Native American right. Indians to, to, to do whatever the hell they want them to do. That's you right. Know, Come so on. Like, mm -hmm. Who persuaded many mm -hmm. saying, let us go. And make a covenant with the heathen. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Mm. You understand? Let's go join ourselves to the oppressor. Right. You understand? And like, and what was so bad about that is that we we've seen this happen time and time and time again, where we have tried to be at peace That's with right. the so-called white man. The, the Native American Indians tried to be at peace with the so-called white man. The Mexicans tried to be at peace with the so-called white man. 
You understand? Every single time we we allow them to come into our cities like Rosewood. You understand? We allow them to come do business with us like Black Wall Street. That's Every right. single time, you understand, we push our, our sons into their schools. Like this, this young boy right here, we see what the repercussions are. You understand? We, we see what's going to happen and when we continuously push ourselves amongst them. That's you right. Understand? And so at some point, like I said before, we have to realize that Blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians must separate from our oppressor. You understand? And separate from our oppressor. We, we got to separate from these wicked leaders who's leading us right to them. That's right. Damn right. We got to get out that Christian church. If I may, let me finish this out. Mm -hmm. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that mm -hmm. are round about us. Mm -hmm. For since we departed from them, we mm -hmm. have had much sorrow. So since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Like, what is, what is that talking about, man? Like, for for if I would never, you, Commander General Yohanna would never say no BS like this. You understand? I don't, I don't care how down bad the nation mm -hmm. of Israel gets. Commander General Yohanna will never, ever, ever say that the only way for us to survive as a nation is that we have to conjoin ourselves to these people, man. Right. You understand? And, and, that's, that's, and that's what these leaders are doing. Yeah, They're man. looking at our condition. They're looking at how bad we are or how we're living. And instead of fixing our problems, you understand? In fe instead of fixing our, our women and fixing our brothers, and fixing the drugs in the community and the gang violence. Instead of fixing the problems, mm -hmm. we decide let, let's go join with the heathens and let's just adopt their culture. Right. <laughs> let's go be a part of America because you know, being being a leader and 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 dealing with the nation of Israel is just too much. Right. You understand that's just too hard. That's right. To, to do that, so we might as well just go join them, man. Come. And come that's why come. these leaders are weak, weak, and they sorry, man. That's right. Damn right. They don't, they don't deserve the seat that they hold right now. Con, con. Damn right, Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Damn right. Uh, it, it, it's just plain as day. You know what I'm saying? Like you just said, man, that, you know, with the more and more, and it's like, it's really what that phrase they say, that Stockholm syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's like we keep, or, or, or what's the other phrase they say is like, uh, the, uh, the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Right. So over and over again, we join these people. And every time we turn around, it's a new leader who seems like they're saying something good for black people, but really, what are they really saying? They're really saying we need to join the oppressor in some different way. Either they're saying we need to vote. If they're not saying we need to vote, they're saying, oh, well, we need to, you know, uh, 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 love and love and Christianity and happy, happy, happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. None of that is doing anything for black people. If anything, in 2021, your little black son is being forced to bow down. Exactly. By some lying pastor telling him it's the African way. When if we were really, if, if that mother had been listening to Commander General Yohanna, if that son had been raised to listen to Commander General Yohanna, first of all, he would never bow to no white man anyway. Damn right. He damn. certainly wouldn't have bowed down talking about it's the African way because he would have told him, I ain't no damn African. So lock it, sir. Exactly. You understand? And the, and the problem with that is that there ain't no damn African school. Right. <laughs> What the hell is you even talking about? Right. You know, like, if, if you're going to do That's that, fact. you might as well go ahead and play the African national anthem. Right. Serve African food. God. You know, make the uniform dashiki like Salaga. When I was coming up, I went to an African school. God. Officer Iraq had me in some school called Omoteko Guamazima. <laughs> you understand? Almost. That is, that's a pause, Salaki, for even saying that. You understand? That, <laughs> that was a school that I went to. And. Right. You understand we had to learn about the different like each grade was a different tribe oh, uh, I, you know man. thinking about it now i'm like damn you, you get older and you, your tribe changes like you just right. people. <laughs> man but understand but that was an african school so right. i can understand God. i can understand you understand them them doing that in that school mm -hmm. right but this this is a catholic school right, right. You understand teach them the catholic way <laughs> if that's what you're going to do right but you know, like that that's nonsense, man. Like it's I said, it's just, got people, man. It's right. just an insult to our people. And this mother, you know what I'm saying, most high in Christ. I hope the sister, if I can find a sister name, I like to find a Facebook and, and send her um Salaki. I think the brother might have got cut out the live. I'm sure it'll be back shortly. If I can find a sister, man, I'd love to send her, you know what I'm saying? Let her know about ispk.com if she's not already aware. Get a flyer to her because she said, let me go back to the article and let me quote the article. With what, what this sister said, if I may, Baba Kusha. The sister said this. So She's I a calm, calm. No, no sweat out of one. The sister said, 
um, once he started mentioning this African family, that's when it just clicked, said Paul. Like, this is not normal procedure. I felt there was no relevance at all. Is he generalizing that everyone who is black is African? That's when I realized something is not right with the situation. This sister didn't fall into that garbage because a lot of our people, they would hear that and they might fall for that. They might be like, well, you know, the African way, you know, we are African American. You know what I'm saying? But this sister, this Haitian sister said, no, no, no. Just because you black don't make you African. Right. You know what I'm Africans are not black people. And she recognized that. You understand? Right. And so I, I thought it was very tawab that she did that. You know what I'm saying? So this was this was discussion. It said, Paul said her son is still reeling from the humili humiliating incident. And the family is grappling with the suspicion he was treated more harshly because of his race. That's not suspicion. That's just a fact. Because yeah. he wasn't, like you said, sir, that's a tawab point you brought up. He wouldn't do that to no white student. Right. And talk about it's the African way because it ain't no goddamn African school. Right. So he saw this little black boy and said, yeah, I can put, you know, it's funny. I wouldn't be shocked if there is no African family. And if he never heard of no African way, it's just some crap he made up to make this little Salaki, for lack of a better word, little Negro boy right. bow before him. I wouldn't be shocked. You know what I'm saying? Good Ain't night. No Ain't no sweat. When, when, when I get my school in a new kingdom, I'll make them apologize the Greek way. They gonna be down there. They gonna be down there hugging knees. You know what ah. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen to them. Most high in Christ, man. Good night. Let me see. Um, it's okay. Let me let me get this devil. He he has something to say. So the sister said, "My son was humiliated, hurt, and embarrassed, sad and confused." Paul explained. He reads about things happening because of his skin color to experience it. He's just trying to process it in his 11-year-old brain. Going right back to what you said, sir, about this mm -hmm. mother, like many black mothers, unfortunately, mm -hmm. thinking that, oh, well, if I send my son here, if I make him take this path, he can avoid some of those things that most of our people go through. Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> he ain't just reading about, you know what I'm saying, racism. It's right in his face. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read this last paragraph and we can go on to the, to the next one. Okay. It says, Holy in, this is the this is the devil. Let me show a picture of this, this, this guy. This is the cat right here. That's the devil right there. You know what I'm saying? It's a little blurry, but no sweat. It says, Holy in declined to comment on the specifics of Paul's complaint, saying only that we love our students here and noting that the vast majority are our students of Slaki and that noting that the vast majority are students of color, attempts to reach a representative of the Marianist brothers, the religious chapter that runs the school, were unsuccessful. No sweat. Ooh, yeah. He don't want to comment. Yeah, he don't, he don't want to comment. And he's, oh, well, most of our students are black. And that makes it better. <laughs> it does the same. That's the same BS as I got black friends. Right, con. That's exactly what it sounds like. I got black friends. Come on, chat, man. Yo, y'all, 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 y'all see what they're saying, man. Y'all. So, so, what do y'all think? Is my question to y'all again. We're gonna go into the next story, but I would like somebody to comment in the chat. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that he really, you know, encountered an African family, and he was just trying to, you know, in that moment, he was just compelled to use this African proverb to teach this young boy about, you know, how to. Uh, properly apologize or do you think it's just a crock and that he just wanted an excuse to make this young black boy you know what i'm saying uh, uh, uh kneel before him because he's prideful and he's a devil let me know what y'all think you know what i mean and so like if i could that like you, you imagine if that boy took heed to that right imagine if he was like oh, okay this the way to, to, to apologize and then you send him off to the world and every mm -hmm. time he apologizes and he just Getting on the ground in the in the middle of McDonald's in the line, he bumping to somebody. He on the ground kneeling and apologizing. Mm -hmm. You understand, like, they're like man, Mr. White man, you ain't think about what you was doing. Uh, teaching that young black boy to be subservient and really teaching him how to be effeminate. Exactly, you know what I'm saying to get on his goddamn knees. To that's this. I'm telling you, I I personally don't think he ever met no goddamn African man that told him that. I've never seen it, and I've been around some Africans. I ain't never seen no African get down on their knees to apologize. I don't want that African school you went to, the, the pause one, or Timber Bay, whatever the hell. Did they make y'all get on, on your knees and apologize? 
because I won't about to do it. You understand? <laughs> I don't think our rock would be having that. Right. You understand? Damn so, right. Yeah, nah. Con, con uh, even that. even that's, maybe maybe they do that over there in some in the woods of Africa in the jungle somewhere. But right. even the Africans that like you said, the Africans that I know here, they ain't getting on their knees and apologizing to no white con. people. They con. not doing. It. You understand? Like, ain't no Chinese doing that. Ain't no Japanese doing. Ain't no right. heathen coming over here and getting on their knees and apologizing to no white man. That's you right. Understand? So that's right. He, that's that, right. That, that man is a damn devil, man. That's, That's right. right. Most high in Christ. This one right here. Oh, wait, this is disgusting. Huh. We, we got to talk about it, though. And again, I want y'all to come on, chat. I really want us to hear y'all. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm confident in y'all opinions. But when y'all hear something like this, what do y'all think? When, what's the, when, when you hear a story like this, and I want y'all to pretend for a second that all if, if I just said the sentence... Yeah, yesterday uh, a white man raped an eight-year-old girl. I want y'all to tell me whether or not what I'm about to read would be a surprise to you or if it wouldn't, okay? This is from news1.com. It says, career criminal accused of raping eight-year-old black child won't stand trial due to state loophole and white privilege. A predominantly black Kentucky community is outraged after a judge dismissed the case of a white man who raped and fractured the skull of an eight-year-old child in 2019. Ooh, let's get into this. It says, a Kentucky community responded in collective outrage after a man was deemed unable to stand trial. Shalom, Lord of Christ. Got, uh, get, Salaki, let me do a quick roll call, if I may. I know we, we get into the article, but I forgot to do that. Audubon does that often. So we got some brothers up in here. My brother, UPK, Aisha, uh, I believe out of South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Shalom. Now, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Shalom. Abun, Izar, Shalom. Princess Lawaya, that's my rib. Most high in Christ, Shalom, sis. You got uh, Kapa, Banath, Manessa, Shalom, sis. You have Shamal, Atabai, Shimei, Hausha. We got the sister, Sunshine, J. You got the sister, Rochelle. Most high in Christ, Shalom, sis. And of course, we got Trooper Quidum, uh, Sister Sharon Watson, and we got the brother out of Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? My gun, You know what I'm saying? Good to see y'all. Glad to have y'all up in here, man. You know what I mean? Shalom. All right. So now, a Kentucky community responded in collective outrage after a man was deemed unable to stand trial after he raped and fractured the skull of an eight year old child with a shovel in 2019. The identity and race of the child remains unknown because of their age, but the incident occurred in a predominantly black neighborhood in Louisville. Social media users claim that the child is black. So what, what happens is they're not releasing, oh, Salakia, Most High in Christ, yeah, I'd want up in here. Yeah, I'm about to make Shalom, I'd want to see you, yeah, sir. Good, good. Chilling, I'd want. We're reading a, a terrible story right now. You know what I'm saying? But, you, but you're here just on time to, 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 to respond and comment on this. Yeah, well, it says, if I if I may, Baba Kasha. Come, come. I wouldn't be saying too much, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I, uh, I got you. Yeah. I got you, Ardwan. That's no sweat. But if if ever you want to make a comment, you want to interject, uh, just just let me know, sir. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll, we'll let that go down. It yeah. says, um, on March 11th, Louisville judge. So what, what I was saying was that they they're not they haven't officially released the race of this child. It's not official. Mm -hmm. However, the residents and the people in the community are talking. And from the knowing people and knowing the community, it, it seems that it was a black child who was raped and assaulted because it's a black community, a black neighborhood. On March 11, Louisville Judge Annie O'Connell ruled that Kane Madden was mentally incompetent and unlikely to regain competency dismissing the case under a state law which says that people can only be held or hospitalized against their will if treatment will benefit them wdrb reports now here's a, a um here's a, a, a quote from someone that looks like somebody's twitter it says this kane madden case is sickening how isn't this being talked about more the state of kentucky should be embarrassed 
Its system has failed once again. This is so sad, man. Women and children aren't safe. No one is. Community supporters Can rallied around. Please, I don't want. Which, which story are you reading? We didn't this read. is the one about the rape case. The eight-year-old eight child raped in Kentucky. This devil's name is Kane Madden. Isn't that such an appropriate name? I was about to say, that's fitting. <laughs> Hey, and, and, Salak, and Salak, if I may, I, I, I just want to take a, a, a minute to thank my brother, you know what I'm saying, Officer 500 Yaramak, you know what I'm right. saying, for coming and holding Most it down. Right. You, you, you know what I'm Two other brothers, you know what I'm saying, you could be doing anything else, but you, you, you're spending time with your brothers and sisters, breaking down scriptures and, and, and going to these articles, man, and I'm talking right. our people, Matrix. That's you know, right. Come on, come the water to y'all brothers, you understand? Come on, come on. Most high in Christ. So it says, community supporters rallied around the child and launched a change.org petition early last year advocating that Madden remain in prison. Why was his right to walk the streets again ever considered more important? This is, this is uh, crucial. Than the community's constitutional right to have safe and healthy neighborhoods. A statement on the change.org petition reads, children should be safe in their own backyards. Instead, we have a severely abused child who will never be the same. The community now demands that Kane Madden not be released. So I wanted to, you know, just go from there. Like, what do you, Akim, Adawanian, Saki, Akim, Ak, Wa, Adawan. So like, I'm getting my, my, uh, my Lashwan Kudash mixed up. But y'all brothers. <laughs> What do y'all think about this? So there, th this is another case. We've heard this, I mean, 100, 300, 500,000 times. Oh, he wasn't uh, mentally right. He was out of his head. You know, he's he's unstable. So we can't, you know, we can't lock him up. We can't put him in jail. You know, how many times have we heard this? And what do you guys, what do y'all, Adewanyi, and I can think about this happening again to another Presumably, black child. Man, so like it, you understand, like, like you just said, this, this is something that happens so much in our lives that at some point it has to just become, like, like this is normal, right? You understand when that's the that's the sad truth about it is that this this is normal. Right. The, the so-called the, the white man he he come in and oppress us and do something as wicked as this, and of course because of, of because of his skin and because of who he is. You understand? He gets off by by pleading insanity. Right. He gets off by just being like. Oh, and I got a question, right? Did did the white man? He he plead insanity. Did he go to a mental institution, or is he I, just free? I, he, he if, from what I'm reading, he he he's just uh, he's just free. Let, let, let me read a little bit more to see what it says. It says prior to the rape case. Madden was found mentally incompetent and released after he sexually assaulted a woman and bit off part of her face in 2017. Now, check this out. Judge O'Connell also presided over that case. Madden, <laughs> Madden was hospitalized after, but was released under the Kentucky statute. Months later, he was arrested again for breaking into a business. A judge released him to a hospital, but less than 24 hours after he was discharged, Madden assaulted the young child after finding her playing outside of her home. So he's been in and out of hospitals. They keep releasing him. Good night. Black people got to get into the ISUBK and learn how to protect your families. That's man. right. That's, that's what's going to have to happen. You understand? They, they let these half idiots walking around here, half a mental asylum, crazy bath salt eating. They let right. him, he's roamed the street in America. Right. You understand if now if that don't tell you that now is the time to get that husband up inside your house. That's right. Protect that eight year old daughter. You understand? I don't know what is, but right oh, now God. America is going to going to you understand to to, to shit Salaki. That's right. Life. Damn right. right. You understand? It's time that we, like I said before, stop trying to change the ju the judicial system, man. Stop uh. trying to change. The uh, the judgments that they give for whatever man, and we have to learn to come back together and start to protect each other, man. That's and right. And if I could, could I could I pull another scripture? I know I pulled one before. No, please, that's that's what we for. I don't want. If, if I could get uh, 
uh, Salak, uh, Zephaniah 11 in, in verse 5, right? Come. If I could go there, man, come, because come. This, this is exactly what happens so much, man. You understand? And we see it all day. We see it all day, every day when it comes uh-huh. to all press are dealing with us, especially in the judicial system. Damn right. I, I got it, sir. Uh, yeah, if you could. Come, come. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Mm-hmm. Whose possessors slay them mm-hmm. and hold themselves not guilty. And there you go. You understand? That's what you see all day. You understand? You white cops shooting us, and they, and they claim to be in fear of their life. White men raping our daughters, and they cl- they claim to be insane. Right. You understand? With in- insanity or not, that man should be held accountable for the crimes that he committed. That's against. right. But the problem is, is that he committed those crimes against the little black girl, man. That's right. So it, it don't matter. Damn right. If I may, me and yeah. me and Ottawan, me and uh, the Ottawa officer of a thousand years of we just slucky, if I may. So didn't we just bring out a story? A couple weeks ago, where a black man was shot in front of his own house, who was mentally um, challenged. Right, and, and we, it's like, please. I may, uh, um, I was just letting your brothers go in on it because your your what you're bringing out is so absolutely correct and heavy. In that, when it's our people, right, we get murdered or we get thrown under the jail. Do you know what I mean? But when it's for them, these heathens, and I'm saying heathens on purpose because. There's this the, um, Asian community, a lot of things going on with them as well, and, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and everybody <clears throat> coming hand in hand and, and, and for them. But when it's for us, right. when it's for black people, Latinos and Native Americans, That's right. oh well, you know, they, they, they are monsters, you know, they, right. they, are, they, are, they are violent, you know, their neck thick, so you could kneel on their neck. Right. Them. All these things, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's all right what Yar- Officer Yaramak said. We need to take ourselves out of America. We can't. That's right. Our trust in the judicial system of America. How the hell can a people who have been oppressed by a people go to those same people mm-hmm. for justice? It makes no sense. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's right. Come on, that's come on, sir. Come on, come on. Damn right, I'd want. Um, we back, go back to the scripture. The mm-hmm. book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their mm-hmm. own shepherds pity them not. You understand? That goes back to our wicked leadership, man. That's right. Like our wicked leadership who don't, who can give a damn about that system, man. You understand? Who can give a damn, who give a damn about Joy Morgan, Salaki? I'm right. Sorry. I'm yeah, still on IUIT. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's a prime example of how our lit- how our leaders pity us not, man. You understand? So that that's 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 what it is, man. Black people come, got come. gotta stop loving our oppressors so much. Otherwise, we're gonna keep dying. You understand? Right. You keep thinking that sending your your sons and your daughters to those white schools is the best thing, and you're gonna see a lot more school shootings. That's you're going right. to see a lot more crazy white people coming out doing more crazy white people stuff. You understand? And what we should do is not, we should work to not be victimized by old oppressor no more, man. That's right. right. And the only right. way to do that is to be up under Commander Jenny Yohan and the ISUP. That's, That's right. right. And so like, if I may, what you say is so heavy, Yaramak, in that, again, for our people who are watching, you know what I'm saying, and who this is broadcast is going to go out to. ISUPK under commanding general Yahana is the real leadership for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. That's right. You know I mean? I, I, I'm gonna leave you an example. My brother, right here, Officer Um, um Tabo One, and my brother below me in, in in the in the live, Officer Yaramak. We are leaving examples of men that come, come. General Yahana molded and built. And change from being filthy, disgusting Negroes. That's to right. Men who can That's lead right. a people. You know That's what I'm right. saying? And do the right thing according to the Most High and Christ. And Amen. if I may, um, uh, 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 um, let me see right here. We have some comments. Uh, a sister said, um, I can't pronounce your name, sis. It's uh, Salakia. No, I think it's no. uh, Nawa Idawa. It's like a Nawa Ida, yeah. N- Nawa Ida, yeah. It's Salakia. She said, um, the purple princes, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying they're, 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 they're <laughs> you know what I mean? A coward. <laughs> she right. 
You, you know what I mean? She's absolutely right. And inside of ISUPK, we are no cowards. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Cowards, no excuses. You, you know what I mean? Another sister said, um, I didn't want to say it. This is uh, uh, Sister Sharon Watson. She said, I didn't want to say it. Um, you would not be walking the street. And I, I know what she means. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for, for people who are, are trying to live a, a, a right life, you know what I'm saying, inside of America, even if they're in the world, this Edomite would be dead. Come on. You know what I'm saying? They would take matters into... We're not saying take matters into your own hands. That's not what we're saying. Right. We just, we just say, like, people in the world, for, for doing this, you know what I'm saying, to a black child, you know what I'm saying, and your system that your people set up hold you not guilty, what, what do you think will happen? Mm. You know what I mean? We, we, we would have to take action for ourselves. That's this right. is why, instead of taking action for ourselves, listen to the priest and prophet of the Lord. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. Listen to Tabawan. Listen to um, okay. Slack. Listen to Yaramak. Listen to Tabawan. You know what I'm saying? Listen to all our brothers all over North um, America, in the Caribbean, in, in, oh, in the UK. Come you know what on. I mean? In the UK. You know what I mean? That's listen right. to us because we know what we're saying. Damn right. Damn right. You know what I mean? We're teaching the right thing to our people. That's right. That's but right. your Christian pastor is the one who taught you to to like Slack, if I may, I I don't want to ramble on too much. But the, the first story that you all brought out is so wicked that they would have the brother kneel, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a Haitian. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and 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 listen to this quickly. The witchcraft of coming to America and coming to America too right. is why all of the shit going on. So that's like, right. Come, come. Just wanted to add that. No, you're, come on, come on, sir. You're, you're God. God. Most high in Christ. Come if I may, I wanted to get uh one one more scripture before we uh you know what I'm saying on. continue with this article and go to the next one. Uh I'm a, I'm gonna read it. I'm just our brothers get the Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse thirteen. My brother, he did bring this out in his last class as well. A lot of scriptures uh go go that that, that fit perfectly with today's topic of these this false leadership, um and, and what they're leading us to. Remember that your, your favorite uh, Christian pastor who has a street named after him in every city in America, your favorite Christian pastor, uh, Martin Luther King, real name Michael King, we call him Orgy Mike. Of course, he said, you know what I'm saying, towards the end of his life, what did he say? He said, I fear I am leading my people into what? A burning house. And that's yeah. exactly what he did. And now here we are in America and our people are being taught to join with the oppressor, to love the oppressor, and the oppressor's all right. He's your brother. He's your friend. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, if you really look between the lines, if you get unplugged from the Matrix like we're doing in this show, you'll see, what's his name, Kane Madden? Listen, you, they protect their own. They don't look at Kane. They say, oh, well, he, you know, he's out of his mind or whatever, but that's just them protecting their own people. You know what I'm saying? That's just them protecting their own people. They don't care whether he's insane or not insane or in his right mind or not. All they know is that that child is black and he's not. You understand? And so uh, Ecclesiastes, I want to read Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 13. If, Come on. If, I'll, I'll read the scripture for you. You sure I want? Come on, yeah, no sweat. I got you. Come on. So Ecclesiastes 7 verse 13. Consider the work of the Most High. Consider the work of the Most High, which is what our people don't do in America. Why? Because they're learning from a Christian pastor who don't know nothing about the Bible. He knows right. nothing about the Bible. He knows nothing about God. He knows nothing about, you know what I'm saying, these scriptures, these laws, statutes, and commandments that were given to who? God's chosen people, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, and no one else. You know what I'm saying? So the Bible is telling us or asking us to consider the Most High's work. In other words, what he does, what the Most High does, his power is above us. You know what I'm saying? Right. What, what what he has set a certain way is what it is. And it's going to clarify. Read on, sir, if you can. Okay. For who can make that straight? For who can make that straight is the question. Who can make that straight? Read on, sir. Which he hath made crooked. Who can make that straight which he hath made crooked? You, Your Christian pastor can tell you all day long that the white man is your friend. He can tell you all day long that America, that you should go vote. That America loves you. And that God and and, uh, and God loves everybody. He can tell you that all day long. But the reality is, is that you cannot make straight what the Most High made crooked. The Most High made the so-called white man. He made the the oppressor to be that an oppressor, to be evil, to be a liar, to be a deceiver, to be the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's so right. anyone who's not teaching you that. 
you understand, is leading you to your death, you understand? And in the ISUP can to Commander General Yohana, we teach the truth, you understand? And the truth is, you cannot trust any of these people. Salakia. And, and, and Salakia, that, that scripture is powerful because now I have a precept. Most high in Christ, I'll get it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 10. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And that is where, going straight back to what Officer Yaramak said earlier on, trusting in the, the, the judicial system and trusting in America and believing that we can get justice, you know what I'm saying, for the crimes and atrocities that the same people that we're going to inflicting upon us. Come on, I got it, sir. Baba Kusha. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. Say what now? Never trust thine enemy. Now, now inside of America, the, 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 the Martin Luther King, um, how to say it, the, the integration religion, as I call it, you know what I'm saying, allows us to think that we are, are, are part of the same society as right. America. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the scriptures, it says that the Lord created the earth, not the earth, but the, the, the world for our sakes. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Our society should be separate from that of every other heathen nation. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? This is why in the scriptures, the brother is reading right now, it is saying what? The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. And the enemy is the other nations, especially right. the oppressor who is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's so right. We shouldn't trust them. We shouldn't right. trust the system. We shouldn't trust nothing that they got going on. Why? Because, continue. For like as iron rusteth, mm -hmm. so is his wickedness. That simple like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be a rocket scientist or, or perform brain surgery on somebody to know that the, the, the oppressor is the devil the Bible speaks of. The That's oppressor right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? is the ones murdering little boys and girls inside of America. Is the is, is the same one putting dirty um 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 food in our our communities. Uh, Abortion clinics, just just name it. Every okay. man of evil thing that has happened to blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, yes, we sinned, but is the oppressor and these other nations doing it? Never trust your enemy. That's blacks, right. Latinos, Native Americans. I'm off. Come, 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 come. Damn right. Let me go back to this article and read a, a, a little bit more. It says uh, he was charged with first degree rape. Uh, assault and robbery after he stole the girl's iPad. A psychiatrist who evaluated Madden claims he suffers from profound mental illness issues, including social incompetence, intermittent explosive disorder, brief psychotic disorder, learning disorder, and PTSD as a result of being abused as a child. Madden also smeared feces on the wall of a hospital and voiced he wanted to rape women and harm animals and children, according to WDRB. Shalom. You understand? So this dude is absolutely out of his mind. Um and they let him right out. And they let that's the that's the key. They got him on they got on the record. Come this on. nigga is going to kill somebody. Right. And they go let rape him. somebody. Yep. Go ahead and do it. Just go rape somebody. You understand? Just don't let it be a white woman. Come on. What, what, what happened to that white woman who who was allegedly raped by uh what they call it, the Central Park. The, yeah, the, the part so five, part five? Yeah. right, right. You understand? Yeah. All hell break loose over mm -hmm. that white woman, man. That's right. You understand? But you see, what when it when it happens to one of us, oh, this is something you sweep under the rug. Right. What, what happened with, with uh Emmett Till? Come you, know, you you know you just sweeping under the rug so much. In fact, that even when the woman comes out later and says he never whistled to me, I lied about it. Right. You still <laughs> let her, she you still let her rest in peace. You understand? Like she uh. live her old age out. You understand that? Again, like I said before, it all comes down to at some point, these stories aren't even brought up anymore to tell you that the white man is the devil. These stories are are now just becoming fuel to the fire right. job that we do. That's you right. And this That's is the right. reason why we do what we do. You understand? This is the reason why we on them street corners, why we on them classes, holding them radio shows. This is the reason why right here, man. Mm -hmm. And so blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians in the world listening, man, you want to put an end to these problems, to these atrocities that's happening to black people, then you better get up in the ISUBK and lace your boots, man. That's right. You understand? 
because that's the only way we're gonna protect each other is is, is it brotherhood under Commander General Yohanna, man. Damn right. Damn Ain't no right. Way. That's right. Most high in Christ. I don't want the, the sister. Um, if you could, Bob Kushak, could you put the sister your dog wife's uh comment up? I just want to read it because what she said was 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 pretty heavy. She said, don't they have floors in prison jail where the crazies are housed anyway, so, so why not lock them up? That's a Tawab question, sis. Mm -hmm. The reality is that they do have those kind of, they have psych wards and things like that inside of uh, inside of these uh, prisons. But what's happening is they're not sending him to prison. Mm -hmm. They keep just hospitalizing him because they have a psychiatrist. First of all, the, the damn near the same judge keeps dismissing his cases. Then they have a psychiatrist that says he's not fit to be charged as a criminal. So he's never going to jail. He keeps getting hospitalized. And when you're hospitalized, you can just be let go. It says uh, uh, in an article, community members, however, feel their mental health and wellness. See, now this is the people, the black people in this community. Now check what they're saying. Their mental health and wellness is at stake without some form of action being taken in spite of the statute. This is a quote. This is the last, uh, probably the last part I read of the article. He has a revolving door when he goes to court, said Yolanda Walker with the California Neighborhood Leadership Council. Whatever he does next, I just feel like the judge has blood on her hands. So they, they said he has a revolving door, meaning he has damn near immunity. You go in and out. He's going in and out. He's not going to jail. They're putting him in these hospitals where he can be discharged after a day or two. And he keeps committing the same. He's not committing. I, I didn't read anything where it said he might have stole an iPad. He gets angry sometimes, but everything is about he raping people. He's assaulting people. He's having outbursts. You know what I'm saying? It didn't say that he went on the computer and was, you know what I'm saying, hacking Pentagon files or something like that. He's committing the same crimes over and over again. Right. He knows what the hell he's doing. But because, like y'all like said, man, because of who he's doing it to, revolving door. It's all good. Just keep raping these kids. Keep molesting these, these these black women, assaulting these black people. He's terrorizing this community, man. It's That's disgusting. Right. That's right. God. Good night. This, yeah. this, this is tragic. No this, sweat. This is America. This is yeah. America. And that's why, like you said, I don't want we have to we we the, the job we do here is so important, man. Please, everybody who's in the chat. If you're watching, if you're tuning in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the ISUPK pages, man, to Unplug from the Matrix, man, to uh, One West Radio, Cross the Line, excuse me, Cross the Line Radio, Boot Up or Shut Up, uh, Toxic Masculinity. Uh, am I missing some? What else we got? Black Watch. Black Watch. Good night. <laughs> Black Watch. Right, Tune in right. to all these ISUPK uh, 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 shows because really we all doing the same thing just in different ways, man. All of these shows are unplugging our people from the matrix. You understand? So, so, so everyone needs to needs to definitely push this truth. You know what I'm saying? Help, help us, help us do that job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a, I'm a in that that article. That's disgusting, and um, and, and we'll see what happens with it. Salakia, I, th I thought somebody was gonna say something. Salakia, no, no, no. I, um, see, I see. yeah, it's disgusting. Come on. No sweat. So let me go to the to the to the next joint here. So now we're gonna we're gonna flip the page a little bit because again in the ISU PK and the Commander Junior Yohana, we're not liars. We're not liars, and we're not uh you could say by definition we have bias in terms of we only love our people, blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Indians. But what we won't do is sugarcoat things to keep our people from the truth of the matter, right? So now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna talk about how the same this this today's uh uh, uh today's uh, episode is called a uh, false leadership everywhere mm -hmm. the same false leadership that leads us into the trap of following these other nations being close to these other nations really worshiping these other nations you understand we're going to talk about some people who have over the past what's it six seven years have tried to paint themselves as leaders for black people in america but if you really, really go in depth and look at, matter of fact, if I'm out of one in your class on Tuesday, didn't somebody ask you what's they said? I think in the, in, the, in your live on Instagram, yeah. I think they said, what was, "What's wrong with Black Lives Matter?" Right. Yeah. They asked what was wrong with Black Lives Matter and what was wrong with uh, different activist groups and and things like that, coalitions. 
Most High in Christ. So I'm sure you're going to have a bunch of scriptures to, to, to talk about this. Well, the first one we're going to talk about here is Michael Brown. Mike Brown was the brother who tragically was murdered by the police. And was that Ferguson? I want to say it was in it was it was, it was definitely in in the, in the in the Midwest. Right. Okay. I believe it was in Ferguson, somewhere near St. Louis. And um, it says Michael Brown Jr.'s father, demanding twenty million from Black Lives Matter group, says Families Foundation has not received su support from movement. Local vis local activists said they haven't received support from the organization they said has forgotten about the black people it was intended to help. Right. Ooh -wee. Good night. Good night. And everybody is just you know, Black Lives Matter pauses on everybody's tongue. You know, mm -hmm. some some who, who's ever seen this? Correct me if I'm wrong. I know I know I've seen it. I've seen when you go on YouTube. Or in different social media platforms where some idiot who doesn't know what the hell they're talking about, they'll see the ISUPK, well, they'll see us at camp or something, and they'll try to call us a Black Lives Matter group. Has anybody ever seen that? You know, I ain't seen them because I would have started blazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have started blazing. Captain, pull me down. I've yeah. seen, I've seen people. Uh, I saw it was a boot kiss. It was a boot kiss video. And mm -hmm. some publication overseas in Europe or something, they wrote on it, Black Lives Matter group makes white people kiss boots. <laughs> I saw that and I'm like, like, are you yeah. <laughs> like, are you like, that's crazy. Giving them all the glory, huh? Right. God, because <laughs> everyone is thinking Black Lives Matter. It's written everywhere. It's on signs all over the place or whatever. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I, I tell you one thing: Black Lives Matter would never be as hardcore as I should be. That's right. That's that. Them brothers, them 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 niggas over there are, are homosexual. That's like, a fact. I gotta pronounce every syllable in that. Right. That's exactly right. What they are. So Damn they, right. They ain't gonna right. never have no oppressor bow down to nothing for no reason. Right. Come on, come on. This is exactly what I was thinking. Like, ain't no Black Lives Matter group making no oppressor bow down to them or kiss no boots. Like, that's crazy. Like, they're not even built like that. It's really, you know, we might get into it. It's really a, a, a like you said, I want a homosexual organization. It's really an organization full of lesbians and gay men mm -hmm. and transgenders mm -hmm. that really, really, they hate black people. They hate black men, really. You understand? Right. So, uh, let's and, read some more. Go ahead, please. I don't want. I'm about to say, and you know, like that 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 whole movement is a damn joke, man. Right. It's a joke. Like you, you got man. I you and again, I, I keep referring back to my class on Tuesday because my topic was kind of similar to this. But you you got to imagine when you, when you're dealing with a predator and a prey, the only way for the prey to ever save his life is to separate from that predator. And That's so right. I use the, I use the example of lions and gazelles. You understand? Imagine if gazelles one day had the ability to think, right? right? right. And they came together and said, you know, we, we tired of lions killing us and eating us, right? How dumb would it be if the gazelles' big idea was, you know, let's all come together and we're going to march right in front of the lions then. That's what we're going to do. We're going to march right in front of the lions then. And not only that, not See, like, only are we going to march. Not, not, not to cut you off. No, no Gizelle's life matter. Gizelle's life matter. <laughs> <laughs> Gizelle's life matter. Gizelle's life matter. Gizelle's life matter. Gizelle's life matter. Come, come, come. And not only are they going to march right past the lions then, they let lions come in and march with them. Good. They let the lions come up there and they look, the lions got little gazelle antlers on them. <laughs> they, got, they got the picket fences oh too. Tell them <laughs> Gizelle's uh, matter. They, and they follow right back to uh, where dinner going to be at. Right. right. Uh, you, you see it with Antifa. Who you think Antifa is? Come. Those same people you allowing to to come into you understand into your organization. That's right. And to supposedly fight with you. Damn That's right. why your, your leaders are. Your, it's so idiotic, man. That's right. The right. only way that the gazelles can stop getting eaten by lions is if they separated completely. That's right. Man, that's it, man. That's the only way. That's why Black Lives Matter is a bunch of piss poor garbage, man. It ain't That's good, right. Man. Damn right. And you know it ain't nothing because ain't nothing changed. Right. Come. Yeah. There you go. That's a that's, that's that's really the 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 crux of the whole matter. Ain't nothing changed. And now this is what these two articles we're about to talk about really hone in on is right. that not only is nothing changing, but there you 
Doesn't this sound familiar? Let me read this part again. And I want, let's see if anybody in the chat can kind of read my mind on this. I know y'all brothers can. But it says, the father of slain black teenager Michael Brown Jr. and activists from Ferguson, Missouri, where it happened, are demanding $20 million from Black Lives Matter movement. A now prominent movement they said has forgotten about the freedom fighters killed and jailed in the pursuit of social justice. So who can read my mind on what is... We're talking about false leaders, right? So I know y'all know what I'm talking about. We're talking about false leaders. What is so heavy about what I just read and what they're demanding, what this father whose son is dead is demanding from Black Lives Matter in, in conjunction, like in addition to the fact that we're talking about false leadership? How does this relate? And remember, you're talking to the ISUPK and the Commander General Yohana when you provide your answer. Just p- keep that in mind. Right. You're dealing with the ISU became the commander general Yohana. This black father is saying he wants $20 million from Black Lives Matter. Why is that heavy? Let's see if somebody in the chat has, has an answer. We'll give them a second, you know yeah. what I'm saying, see what they come up with. You know what I'm saying? It'll 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 be very um obvious once 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 one of us says it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because really, I, I might be giving it to them. We we talk about it. Every week at camp. Yeah. Every week at camp, some brother, multiple brothers usually, goes in on this topic. You understand? And usually we don't even mention Black Lives Matter. Right. But it's, it's, it's prevalent. Oh, we got another sister up in here. Oh, I think it's a sister checking in from a different uh, a different account. Shalom, sis. Uh, how Shalom? I thought about Shalom. Shalom. The sister Sunshine J said, "False prophets." I, 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 I'll take that. Most high in Christ. That, that's that's damn sure what it is. False prophets. But really, what's what's crazy is every week we pull out the scripture. Which you know, let me let me get that uh, uh, while we're on it. You know, what I'm saying uh, I'm gonna paraphrase it first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and read it. But we read the scripture that says, "What for filthy lucre's sake?" Exactly. Because the Christian pastor, we know he does everything he does. We bring it out of camp for what? For money, for gain. They wax fat. They get rich, man. Your, your, your T.D. Jakes and your, uh, your, your your Creflo Dollars and your Joshua Holmes and your, you know what I'm saying, your Juanita Bynums. And all, they get r- absolutely rich. Not kind of rich. Like rapper rich. Nasty. Rich. Yes, Con right. Con. Filthy, lot, nasty six, rich. Go ahead. Like, 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 go ahead, bro. Okay, so like, and if I could, it, it, it's like Black Lives Matter is a big church. You understand? Like, it's right. And that's why, and that's why the Christian church and them Christian pastors, they get so rich, and we don't even understand that the reason, like, the Christian church is recession proof. You understand? I mean, if 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 the economy failed in America, the Christian church would still thrive. That's right. Because right. Christianity thrives off of the pain of Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Indians. right. The more pain that we're in, the more tithes we'll pay. The That's more right. pain that we're in, the more money that we'll go and give the pastor. Because right. that is our way of having some hope to get out of the pain. That's you know right. We we and that, and that's why these, these filthy Christian pastors, man, and Black Lives Matter movements, IUIC, all these fake Israelite right. g- groups who are really Christian churches, man. That's right. Or, or, or just... You understand, full of it because it drug dealers, drug dealers. You understand, and they selling a lot. That's they right. selling the, the, they selling Christianity to our people, man. That's right. Having us believing that by joining with them, it is going to make our lives better, man. And like, if could, could you get the brother's picture back up on the screen, huh. or is it random? Like, if, if you look at this brother, man, you you see the pain in this brother's eyes. That's and, right. I, and I'm gonna tell you something right now. That twenty million dollars will not make that pain go away. That's right. He, he, he's not doing. He's not asking for the twenty million dollars because he feels like he should get twenty million dollars because his son is dead. Right. He feels like he should get that twenty million dollars because he knows that now he has to hurt the people that's hurt him. That's you understand? Right. And he, he's he's now realizing the 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 the, the problem. You understand with trusting these wicked leaders, man. That's he right. put his trust in Black Lives Matter and they failed him. That's you right. He put his trust in the Christian church and they failed that brother, man. And that's why he's going to hurt them. You understand? Right. And I hope uh, he gets it. 
I hope you know, he gets every goddamn dollar from them. Damn right. I, They'll I show you. Yeah, I don't want. No, I, I was just saying, I, I hope so too. And and, and obviously, Yaramak, where well, you bring in all this so right in that the Christian churches with the witchcraft mm -hmm. selling that lie to our people is like a crack addict on crack. That's right. This is, this is why what you said is so heavy. There can be the greatest depression, recession, whatever. Right. Drug dealers always will make money. Just always. like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I may, sir, with a depression and a recession, drug dealers are gonna make more money more, because yeah. can because the reality is in this, and everyone knows everyone again, you know what I'm saying? We don't condone our brothers doing this or none of that. You know what I'm saying? We right. don't condone our brothers selling drugs to each other, but we know the psychology of the drug addict. We know the psychology of economics in America and capitalism. If you want to sell drugs, where do you go? You don't go to Beverly Hills, you go to the ghetto, you right. go to where people are starving, where they're yeah. hungry. Because a crackhead, why do Crackheads don't get skinny because crack makes you skinny. Crackheads get skinny because they don't eat. Right. Because that high means so much to them, they're going to spend all their money on crack because right. their brain is, they're hopeless and they need that hit. They need that fix. And that's the same thing y'all are bringing out, which is so heavy. Our people in these Christian churches, the reason why the Christian church thrives in the black community is because we're in hell, that's because true. we're starving, because right. we're dying. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, Arwan, this brother whose son is killed, he's looking at it after all these years and realizing, wait a minute. So y'all did the whole Christian church song and dance, just like messy Jesse Jackson in the goddamn 70s and 80s, just right. like Martin Luther King did with them four little girls. You came to me acting like you were my ally. Meanwhile, you making money and you performing, we're going to read that next, you performing at the Grammys and I haven't seen any of it. I, we, right. and it, we're still dying and getting no support from you. But meanwhile, you're making millions and millions of dollars, which was my point earlier, that Black Lives Matter, just like the Christian church, has been able to, 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 to uh, um, how do I say it, manipulate black people, blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, have been able to manipulate our people into making them absolutely rich. Black yeah. Lives Matter is rich, just yeah. like a Christian pastor. And, and right. so, like, if I could add one more thing, because I'm still full throttle on the gas on this fake homosexual Israelite group. That's another right. person who, another family who should receive money is Joel Morgan's family. Right. Millions from the IUIC, man. As much money she done paid for them, $2,000 to go to a stinking fake Passover, she paid for them, man. Just for them to lose her life like that. Damn you right. understand? It's the same thing with these Christian churches, man. God. Never going to change with it. The, and you know who else? The Christian church down in Charleston, South Carolina, for mm. failing to keep their members protected, Damn. for allowing that devil to come in there and kill all of them. Those families should be rich, too. Yeah, Dylan Storm. Damn right. There you Can. go. That's yeah. a fact. Con, yeah. it's, it's, it's disgusting. Yeah, please, sir. Big sidebar. Like, I, I don't understand with them fake faggots, right? Them, them purple faggots. Listen. How you celebrate the, the, the Passover, the death of the, the same people Oof. that the most high. <laughs> you all know I'm going with this, right? Yeah. Jump in anytime. You know what I mean? How the hell you have them in the Passover? Like, 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 come on. They're going to they they be talking about how. How the Lord killed them stinking Egyptians, and then they gonna they gonna bring out General Butt Naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, oh man! Listen, hey, I, I got a quick scripture. Okay. I just I wanna the, big, big up the command in General Yahanna. Man. Damn right, damn right. Okay. No sign of Christ. Just just a quick scripture to piggyback off what uh, of what both of y'all, you know, what I'm saying Akim just said, man. This the, I'm just gonna read it. You know, whoever want to break it down. Um, because because like you said, they 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 sell how you celebrate the Passover killing Africans, but then you got Africans in your congregation, and worse all then the real messed up part with the sister Joy Morgan, you got Africans killing our people in your church. Good, Good night. The book of James, chapter one and verse eight. I know a, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yeah, Nathaniel is unstable. In That's all his right. You know what I'm saying? But commanding General Yahana is stable. You know why? Because look at us. That's right. From since 1969, you, you never heard that brothers being locked up, being um, locked up for shooting transvestite in the face. You know what I'm saying? You never hear 
no other nation coming inside our of, of our schools and and murdering our our um our, our sisters our brothers and eating them you know what i'm saying none of that stuff no no fat no homosexuals no 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 rapists nothing we That's don't right. call each other and be on the phone <laughs> and one other brother masturbating that does not happen in the uh, right. under commanding general uh, uh, hold yeah. on i've been hearing about that did that actually take place uh, Come on, brother. That, that happened and, and so like if i could the brother who was out there i mean who was the brother who did it was out there trying to get it all captain on that street corner he right. was out there. right understand? look right. Nate, right. Nate, Nate double minded. He don't. He don't know if he want to send scripture breakdowns out or if he want to send rod picks. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he debating on which one to do. Yeah, that's a good shot, Jeremiah. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well, no swear. And he chose the rod picks. So like you. So that's good crazy. Night. That's and, crazy. And, like, and, please, so like you. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, top one. Go ahead. That's like so I was gonna say like. Going along with y'all saying, we've been in this 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 school has been open since 1969, right? And you mean to tell me, like, how to like to lock you? If a, I, I, I'm trying to word this the right way because it's so crazy. I said, I said. <laughs> how the hell does the leader of your Israelite group, your fake Israelite group, send a picture of his rod? And if I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think any sisters got the picture. I think nah, it was nah. only sent to brothers. No, no, listen. So like, go ahead, I'm like, oh no, no, I was about to say what I what I heard that it was just the camp leader. So it was just to the camp. Hey, there, there you go. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the it's camp like, leader. You're right. <laughs> you're right. It's like it's like we 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 have our our camp group chat. For for brothers, you know, Nathaniel just decide well he's so unstable, you know. He just put my rod and thing and send it for the <laughs> And that's what you want to be part of. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and they still got they, they still got brothers as members and all this. He he said this, this gonna get their mind off Joe Morgan right here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. right. God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, they, they got they, they a bunch of homosexuals and, and, and tranny lovers in there, so I, I wouldn't be surprised, man. But again, you know I'm saying going back to to, to to this topic, it's like it, it eventually, you know, it eventually comes out. Pause, right? right? Like it eventually comes out. <laughs> that <Not> all, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> that all of these leaders are are fake and they're christian and they're disgusting and and right. every time it happens it just it if, the, if our people are not led correctly they won't know where to go so when, right. when 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 the christian church notice now a lot of brothers and sisters are being exposed to the reality that the christian church has been lying forever right and what do they want to do what are they, because they don't have any real leadership what do they do they go become atheists <laughs> they go become Buddhists. They go become Muslims. They go become agnostic or some or some other nonsense. Rasta. You know what I mean? Rastafarian, Rasta. right? Growing out some yeah, Holly Selassie, right? And they growing out some nasty, dirty dreadlocks. They doing all of this because proper leadership, or or they're realizing now that Black Lives Matter is a false a false group as well. And now they're saying, well, wait a minute, what what have we been following all this time? People right. keep leading our people astray. The only leader of Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, the only real leader who was commissioned by the Most High right now on the earth is Commanding General Yahana. If you are not following Commanding General Yahana in the ISUPK, you are not in the truth. And furthermore, you're going to get yourself hurt or worse killed. That's you know right. what I'm saying? In this place. Salak you. Good Your night. Brother. Your brother's got it. Go ahead. Most high in Christ. Let me let me just uh let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just read, I'll probably read one more part from this and go to the next one. Okay, it says on Tuesday, Tory Russell, the director of the International Black Freedom Alliance. I mean and Salaki, I, I know I keep cutting myself off, cutting your brothers off, Salaki, but this this is just so crazy. 
how many damn black organizations do we have? Like, how many blackity black freedom alliances are there? You understand? Like, we only need one. If we we all got, we all want to save black people, right? So you why mean, the hell is how many denominations of Christianity and Christian churches we have, basically? Most high in Christ. <laughs> That's what it is. If we all was trying to get rich, how many groups groups would we have? Because I'm gonna have my own. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a great right. point. Yeah. That's the point. That, that's that yeah. what y'all both just said hits it heavy. How many denominations of Christianity do we have? And if I'm trying, if it's a if it's a get rich scheme, how many groups are you gonna have? Because I want my own. And right. and that seems to be what it's all about. And Money. Michael Brown Sr. released a joint video statement condemning the foundation for not supporting the families it said it was intended to help. This is a quote. Thousands of other youth activists in their 20s and 30s have been out in the streets protesting for months and months and years and years. Still forgotten, Russell began. We're asking that Black Lives Matter leadership funds $20 million for Ferguson organizers, organizations, and community foundations uh, to do the work. He added, we are not begging for a handout. We are coming for what we um, deserve. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Come on. Uh, there's a little bit more here. I pray he gets it, though. Come on. In the summer of 2014, Michael Jr. was gunned down by police officer Darren Wilson, per CNN. The 18-year-old's death uh, sparked protests nationwide and thrust the city of Ferguson into the epicenter of black social justice, although the teen's family has fought tirelessly to get the case reopened. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell announced last summer that he would not charge Wilson for the death of Michael Jr. as Blavity, uh, that's the, the name of the uh, the website and the news outlet Blavity, previously reported. In an accompanying press release on Tuesday, Russell alleged that the organization has yet to send any money to help the Brown Family Foundation. The IBFA tweeted this week that Michael Sr. has received only $500 from a Black Lives Matter affiliated group despite the organization holding annual tributes and celebrations in his son's honor. Good night. Wow. <clears throat> this is sick. On Giving Tuesday, the Black Lives Matter movement raised more than $80,000 for six local organizations. The Black Empowerment Group also created a sister organization in 2020 called Black Lives Matter Grassroots to work towards growing local activism and leaders. Um... Despite his efforts, organi organizers from Ferguson are questioning why they are being uh, left out. So really just, again, the, the truth comes to the light. We see now Black Lives Matter, what it's really about. It's really, it, they, they always use words like grassroots and nonprofit and, and things of that nature. The reality is Black Lives Matter is just an organization for making money, you understand? And the three lesbians who started it, I'm sure have uh, their net worth is probably uh, off the Richter scale right now. You understand? Yeah. So absolutely disgusting. If yeah. I have, if I, if I can find it, if I can find it, the, um, they might've, they might've got rid of it because people was reading it. I want to read the about page on the black lives matter website that's to show their mission statement, their mission. There, yeah, that's the one. They might have took it down. Yep, let me read it. Salakia, I got it. Before you say, what does it say? Money, hoes, money. <laughs> <laughs> it says a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with black men. God. This is what I want to read, and now we can also see it in conjunction with the money and everything. Why they don't give a damn. They don't they, basically they never gave a damn about Mike Brown. Right. Never. They never gave a damn about Trayvon Martin. It was never about black lives. This is just, again, another mechanism to, to rob and steal from black people, you know what I'm saying, in the name of some of a cause, and really to join the oppressor. It says, uh, uh, um, Black Lives Matter was founded in 2013 in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's murderer, uh, UP, uh, UK and Canada, yada, yada. This is the part I want to read. This is in their about page, their mission statement. We are expansive. We are a collective of liberators who believe in an inclusive and spacious movement. We also believe that in order to win and bring as many people with us uh, along the way, we must move. Be now check this out. 
<laughs> uh, we must move beyond the narrow nationalism that is all too prevalent in black communities. We must ensure we are building a, com- a movement that brings all of us to the front. Wow. We must move beyond the narrow nationalism. What the hell does that mean? It means they, guess? Want bring, they want to bring us to, together with white people. Con. That's exactly what all of that means, is that they want us to be what, what, what Martin Luther King wanted. Right, right. They don't want the narrow right. nationalism. Right. So and, and and my question is this. You said that it was started after the uh, after Trayvon Martin was murdered. Mm-hmm. Right. What kind of weak organization are you that you started a whole movement off of the death of Trayvon Martin and somehow you still ain't succeeded with his murderer? You, you still ain't got justice for Trayvon Martin to this day. You ain't got it. You understand that that was supposed to be your whole point mm-hmm. in starting your movement. Yeah, you're trash. That's right. You're poor. That's you understand? right. You, used to, you ain't got justice for Trayvon Martin. You up, who's up next? You understand? You dismissed because you failed your job. That's right. You understand? Like, how can I trust you to get justice for me if I die? You right. still ain't got justice for Trayvon Martin. Right. Seven Not years later. Seven years later, man. Good Come on, night. Man. Come Last on. Last thing, and this is the this is the just disgusting. We affirm. So we, Black Lives Matter. Whenever you see that Black Lives Matter BLM, just know that this is really what it's about. Mm-hmm. We affirm the lives of black, queer, and trans folks, brother, disabled folks, undocumented folks, folks with records, women, and all black lives along the gender spectrum. Our network centers those who have been marginalized within black liberation movements. God damn, what does that? In other words. Mm-hmm. Black Lives Matter. Integration. It's like, if I may, that's, that's the same Martin Luther King foolishness. That's the it's, same gayness in the ISUP. Um, um, the uh, IUIC. It's, like, it's the same gayness in the Christian. It's, it's just a bunch of gayness. In other words, the Black Lives Matter is diametrically opposed to the ISUPK. Exactly. Everything that we teach, they're against. They call what we believe narrow nationalism and it says our network centers on those who have been marginalized within black liberation movements so it's not even they don't even care about black people getting killed by oppressors or or jailed by oppressors their real mission is to speak for those people who can't get into isupk or who can't thrive in here a gay man cannot thrive in here a lesbian a transgender you know what I'm saying? Any of those types of people in the ICPK, we're not dealing with them. Black right. Lives Matter is really for them. You understand? That's a lot because if you could, because you pulled Matthew 7 and 13 real quick. Yeah. You understand? Because like they said, we we got the narrow nationalism. Right. Except what we have. You understand? So I just want to read that scripture just to show them exactly how narrow Most you know, Christ. our nationalism is. Right. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Mm-hmm. Enter ye in at the straight gate. The Lord, Christ saying right here, enter ye in at the straight gate, man. You understand? Keep going. Come, come. Mm-hmm. For wide is the gate. Uh huh. And broad is the way. Uh huh. That leadeth to destruction. So they don't want the narrow nationalism. They don't want the straight gate. Right. They want the wide gate where That's you can right. be a queer, you can be a homosexual, you can be a transgender, a transvestite. Uh, whatever the hell, a moose, whatever the hell you want to identify as, you can be any goddamn thing, and they will fight for you. You understand? Right. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. Keep going. Go on, go on. Mm-hmm. And many there be which go in thereat. And many is in, is in Black Lives Matter. And many is in IUIC. Right. And many is in the Christian church, man. Okay. You understand? And that's the problem. That's the problem right there is that those words, people read those words and they and it, and it soothes you. It soothes your little precious soul. It makes you feel good. Uh, it makes you feel like it's right. But really, the Lord's words is what's supposed to make you feel right. at ease, man. But we don't know the Lord it going into them damn Christian churches, which is the problem with our people. Man. Damn right. That's it. Yeah. That was heavy. That was heavy. 
Most high in Christ, man. All right, so we got we got about uh coming up on 10 minutes left. I was gonna go to another article. Uh let me I can read it just real fast. And then I don't want I'm gonna send you uh another one that I I, I saw it. And I just, I just felt we couldn't go without uh, speaking on it. So I'm texting it to you right now as we speak. Come on, okay, So, so you should, yeah, that should, that should pop up on your phone uh, now. But in, in, uh, in addition to what we just read, it's another article from Yahoo. Tamir Rice's mother criticizes Tamika Mallory after Lil Baby's uh, Grammy performance. So let's see who exactly Tamika Mallory is. Bear with me just a second. Kian. It says Tamika Mallory is an American activist. She was one of the leading organizers of the 2017 Women's March, for which she and her three other co chairs were recognized in the Time 100 that year. Mallory is a proponent of gun control, feminism, and the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, Tamir Rice's mother, Samaria Rice, the mother of Tamir Rice, has criticized. Lil Baby's Grammy performance of The Bigger Picture, which featured activist Tamika Mallory. So, uh, uh, Officer Yara Ma, you, you, you know this song? You familiar with this song? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with the song. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, it's a song where he's, it's a, a, kind of like a protest type song, right? Like Right, it's, it's, it's Lil Baby's idea of protest mm -hmm. against uh, black oppression in America. Right, Kanye. Kind of. No sign crush, no sweat. So, this song, uh, he performed it at the Grammys, which I believe was about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. And either before or after his performance, this sister, Tamika Mallory, gave a speech. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is what the article says. The performance, which debuted deep into Sunday, uh, Sunday night's ceremony, opened with a depiction of police brutality featuring actor Kendrick Sampson. Mallory appeared later in the performance, as did Killer Mike of Run the Jewels. By the way, Killer Mike, of course, is a rapper, activist from Atlanta. Uh, I believe his group, Run the Jewels, uh, is him and a white man. I just wanted to make sure I uh, just said that real quick. In a Facebook post, notably from an account previously cited in reports from people inside and others as belonging to Samaria Rice. Uh, that's uh, Tamir Rice's mother. Samaria shared a clip of the Mallory portion of the Grammy's performance. She said, look at this clout chaser. Did she lose something in this fight? I don't think so. That's the problem. They take us for a joke. That's why we never have justice because of S-H-I-T like this. ooh -wee. And you know what? I have to agree with her, man. You understand, like, like, the, like, you have to think about the pain that she's going through losing her child to, to, to the devil, man, to the right. to oppressor, and then for, like, that song that little baby even performed, I would have never performed it at the Grammys. That's I'm right. not going to take my talent and take the pain of my people again, just like the Christian Church, to capitalize, to capitalize off of the pain and suffering of black people. Right. And, perform it for white people so that they can be happy and like, oh clap it up look at how yeah. he understands so they can go home and do what like like we really think that they like white people gonna listen to that song and they gonna go home and, and do what change their mind stop killing white people i mean right. stop killing black people in the streets right right you're not gonna do nothing man you understand so when she said they take us as a joke i, I feel where she coming from that's right you understand i feel exactly where she coming from that's and, right if I may, can, can somebody get me um, require um, um, mirth or, or however it goes? Can I, I got you, other one. All right, I most I Christ. And 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 what Officer Yaramak is saying is is heavy because at the end of the day, the Black Lives Matter movement they're not for really black people, right? I, I, you you broke it down just now, right? <laughs> You just broke it down and 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 in their their mission statement or whatever it says clearly who they for right you know then come come no, for 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 a rapper who claim quote unquote about his people's struggle as Officer Yaramak said going on a stage and and shocking and jiving for white people really and truly is not he don't really care himself right. If, Faith 
but he I, I don't want to say he don't care but right. as officer Aramak said I would not have performed that song right you know what I'm saying because it's like you wiping your face your your feet on 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 the the, the, the face of the people right you know, actually struggling that's why the sister had to come out and say what she said come you know what I mean? because it, 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 in essence like a christian pastor you know damn what right. i mean damn right you, you, I, I you, got scripture, sir. Can, you, you're the victim but you're getting blamed for getting raped right. that's right you know that's right saying? come like, that's come ridiculous so like, right. you know, so, so like so like it if i come could, on. not to cut you off not not to take away from what little baby thought he was doing right you know little baby right. Thinks what he's doing is going to help, but again, back to what the, the the topic is: unrighteous leadership. Little baby doesn't know how to fight back. That's you right. Understand? So his cry for help is to go shucking job for white people. That's right. That's a lot here. Come on. This is You're the right. book of Psalms, chapter one thirty-seven, and verse three. Come on. For there, they that carried us away captive uh -huh. required of us a song. A song. That's what little baby. That's what little baby is doing right now. That's a good night. Most high in Christ. Yeah, the most high in Christ. Big up to Commanding General Yan and all the captains, and generals, and officers above us who taught us these things. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, this, this is this is why in the ISU PQ and the Commanding General Yana, real men are formed. That's, you know what I'm right. That's right. Yeah, no people and, and <laughs> going singing songs and trying to get people's attention. That's why the sister said, straight up, like, for clout, that's why you're doing it. You know what I mean? Because if you're really about your people, you would be in here with us in the ISPQ and the Commanding General, Johanna. That's, that's right. Read, read that right. Scripture again. And, and, and y'all can jump in anytime y'all feel like. Come on, you know? come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 137, and verse 3. Mm -hmm. For there... They that carried us away captive uh -huh, required mm -hmm. required so of us a song. Uh huh. And they that wasted us. They that did what? They that wasted us. Uh -huh, keep going. Required of us mirth. Mirth, meaning they want us to be happy and joyful uh -huh. in all the evil that is being done to us by them. Right. In the Grammys, you have to sing and dance and talk about the things that are going on. And even in that same song, he talks about loving everybody. Mm. Right. Right. Madness. Salakia, so you all can jump in. Come I just on. want to the scripture out, man. Let me, let me, there's a little more in the scripture. Come on. Uh, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, mm -hmm. sing us one of those songs of Zion. Sing us one of them songs, man. Sing us Good. one of them songs. You know what I'm saying? The songs that we, we sing because we being oppressed, Oh, swing low, That's swing right. low. I'm in for to carry me home right. because I'm in pain. That's right. Because you just kneel on my brother's neck for eight and a half minutes. Right. Sing us one of those songs, man, so we can laugh at you, laugh at your pain. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that we can now uh, implement certain policies and laws and stuff like that to further oppress you, man. That's right. Right. Yeah, kind. And it's like if I could, same way they want to sing as a song, same way they want us. You understand? You look at some of the old school movies back in the top of one. I know you've seen something like this, mm -hmm. but when they was, they would make us dance. You understand? They right. would shoot our feet and make mm -hmm. us dance. That's why. That's why it was so. It was so beautiful when uh when Dolomite made them mm -hmm. hard to start to dance. He's like, yeah. You know, today. But mm -hmm. the harsh reality is that that was just a movie. Right. right, they did that to us. Right, you understand, and they doing it to us right now. That's get right. Up there, get up there and sing, mm -hmm. and, and and show us your skill, and you know, That's look right. at that nigga up there. So, if I may, God, if I may, so I may, so lock you now, because what y'all bringing out is so heavy, um, and it shows that nothing really has changed, and I and I want to bring it, uh, I want to bring it uh, to today. Let me see one second. Uh, right, yeah, this is the one I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if if you'll bring it up, be able to bring up the video. I don't want if I send it to you, but what you just said, what y'all just brought out, is so heavy with the scripture and with the idea of them making us dance. If you watch the movie Twelve Years a Slave, mm. there's a scene where the devil makes all the slaves get up in the middle of their sleep and literally makes them do like a ballroom dance, and you can see them. They literally have sleep, and they just he just wants to. He's standing there drunk out of his mind, clapping, watching them while they do this dance. 
know what I'm saying? And we still do the same thing today. Um, who remembers that video of Bobby Schmurter? Bobby Schmurter just got out of jail. Man, yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't want, can, I, can you get this video on the screen real quick and maybe just show like 30 seconds of it? Do you text it to me? Come on. That, that, that thing right there is disgusting. It, it'd be easier for me to pull it up if you email it. it? All right, oh. All right to, the, to the Black Kings, right? Come huh. Most that, that, high in Christ. That is the you about to play the video of the Twelve Years of Slave or the Bobby Schmurter one? The Bobby Schmurter. Yeah, that that video right there, man, is disgusting. To even it's it, it's cringy. It's a cringe video to even look at, man. Come, never seen it. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Oh, you gotta see this. I don't want to see this, man. Good. This is exactly what they think of us, man. Uh, I just I just sent to see an email. The one that's Black Kings at Gmail, right? Yeah, Black Kings of Israel. Con, I, I just uh, I, I just sent it. I got it. Most high in Christ. See if you can just just get that up on the screen. You know, you can play literally like maybe one minute of this. And just look, and this happened what in 20 what it be 2013? Maybe somewhere around that time before he went John, before he went to jail. Yeah. Got it. And 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 the sad part about it is his video went viral because of his uh his excitement and his performance. Mm -hmm. But every artist before they join a label have to do this. Every last single one of them. But they have, have to, to do. They have to do what the video I'm gonna play. What, what yeah, he's gonna do. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like a like an audition type of thing where you. Right. Oh, that's that's the video right there. Salak so like here. I'm I'm queuing it up right now. Okay. Yeah, go, go ahead, Yaramak. You were, say, you were saying something. No, so I was just saying that they every single rapper, you know, artist has to do this to, you understand, to perform or whatever. They act in front of Edomite people who ain't even listening to his music. Like, right. they not going to be the ones buying his albums. We are. But yet, they, they they don't try out in front of us. You understand? They they Like, you about to see right here, man. A room full of rich, white... Good night, my devils. There's one part coming up that we gotta see, and then and then that's really the end of it. Up on the table. Yep. What's the shit that's dead? Put two shots in his friends. Put pick and shot his I don't win. Put shot his I don't win. Send my dogs out the bed. They shoot shit during me live. Oh, Peter Boy French. He's still in Vegas with a French. Buy him out the box, they going in. Flying out of motherfucking strength. 
And I got caught on the set. I did something big like coming there. Gingerbread bitch. Bring a roll in the tent, bread bitch. Brand new shrimp. Brand new shrimp. Then the part's coming up right now. You can fast forward. Here we go. Right here. I'm telling you, right, bro? Like, that scripture was so, so important to bring out. Come on, come In that, let, let, let me say, let me say this. I, I, I'm going to say this. If we separate from the oppressor, the sooner the better. We wouldn't have our brothers doing these types of things in front of our ninety percent of the people sitting in there, white. But the so-called Jewish man running the the, the, the music industry. You know right. And this is what we have to do to impress him. Right. Man, fuck him. Damn right. right. Hey, it's the log if I could, just like I had brought out a few weeks back them videos of them them Native American Indians rocking they 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 traditional garments and, and stuff like that, sitting in the middle of DC and Washington and on you know concrete pavements just playing their songs, you know, and all you see is white people standing around them astonished with their children. Like, look at look at the traditional Native American Indian, how beautiful he is how graceful he is, how skilled he is and, and what he does. But yet you fail to realize that he's always been that way. Right. And when he was that when when you got over here, you seen this, you called him a savage. Right. You said his, his head garment was, you understand, his ways was unethical. Right. You understand? They couldn't conform to, you know, the, the, the social aspect that you were trying to bring about what you call America today. Or civilized, yeah, right. or civilized people, yeah. A civil, uncivilized, that's the word I'm looking yeah. for, right? You call them uncivilized, man. You understand? But you, you fail to realize that you destroyed these nations, these people, that's man. Right. And the same way they look at Bobby Schmurter, they fail to realize that it doesn't matter how much you astonished over him. After you leave that building, you go back to murdering his people. That's right. right. Which is why he should never shuck and jive on no goddamn countertop for them, man. That's right. Never. Damn right. Yeah. Damn that's right. right. You know what I mean? Hey, come, come. I, you gonna say something, sir? Nah, I'm just, I'm just like your, your brothers be been cutting it up this, today, man. Like, no sign, Christ. To wild, so to wild up again, officer five hundred yard mop, man. To wild for coming through. No sweat, man. You know what I'm saying? No sign, Christ, man. We we probably do this again, yeah, man. Every time, brother. Yeah, I like the format. You know what I mean? Time, you know what I'm saying? Straight I'm up. Right. Come on, come on. We had another article. Um, I'll probably save it for next week. Uh, yeah. But I, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just read just a little, just a little synopsis, and I won't actually read the article, but just oh. a tragic, tragic thing. Uh, a black Texas man dies while in police custody, arrested for possession of weed. Here we go. It's like Sandra Bland all over again, even though she was arrested, I think, and she like, a traffic violation or something like that. This uh, brother, so I, please. A, a lot of things go, going on in Texas and in, in the South. Damn right. as of, and, and, and what our people need to realize is, yes, okay, the oppressor going to put his foot on our neck. They're going to murder the brother for, for, for marijuana or whatever the case may be. But what happened recently with them Asian people, what happened recently on Monday, did, did you all hear about it? Well, so like, I didn't hear about actually what happened, but I heard about the protest. Mm. Mass shooting, yeah. The okay, murder. yeah. 
some 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 dude, I think they did claim that he um of um Arab descent or whatever, mm-hmm. murdered um ten people or or eight Asian women or some type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So right. eight Asian women was murdered, and then ten Edomites were murdered. Mm. Yeah, mm. but I could tell you how we are shy. Damn right. Yeah, we're not advocating for people to go murdering people, but when the Lord sees the amount of crimes being done to our people, then he takes them out in numbers. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago, I was talking about that. You know what I mean? And hurricanes, and don't forget fires in California. Don't forget, you know what I'm saying, the COVID-19. That's right. Don't forget... You know what I'm saying? Recently in Alabama, they had a tornado. Recently. Huh. That's yeah, how the right. Lord works. Okay. So he will right. right. <laughs> one of us and the, and the Lord will take out eight. No sign of Christ. Well, you know what? Uh, this is to why you said that, one if I may, real quick. Uh, now, since we're about to clip up the show, again, the water for everyone who's tuned in, the water officer, you are mock for, for, for joining us, the water to you, sir, as well. About to clip it. Let me just say this: this brother, man, who was killed, man, for absolutely nothing. If you read the article, which next week we're gonna get into the whole article and break it down. Yeah, that's the brother right there. Uh, we're gonna read the whole article, uh, uh, and, and where it talks about how basically he was detained in the jail cell and pepper sprayed while they held him down. Then after pepper spraying him, they put a mask over his face. And they came and they found that he was unresponsive. It sounds like he died of, we don't know yet, it hasn't been released, the toxic, not toxicology, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The um, coroner, the, not the coroner, there's another word. What? Autopsy, the water. Autopsy. The water my yes. Yeah, the autopsy hasn't been, not been released, but I'm going to bet like nine to the ten, he probably died of asphyxiation in some way where he could not breathe, similar to George Floyd. Similar to uh, 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 Alton Sterling, okay. Um, similar to Eric Garner, I believe, as well. He probably died of asphyxiation. But while these things are happening in Texas, and you see that some of these things are coming back to these devils and these heathens, let's remember what else the Lord is doing in Texas. The 52nd annual Passover, you understand? Kaboom. Under the ISUPK, under Commander General Yohanna is going down in Houston, Texas. Brother, so the night. whole entire ISUPK is going to rain down. We got to come out there and show the people what it's all about. We're going to put boots on the ground in Houston, right. Texas. You understand? <laughs> April 24th, 14149 Player Street, Houston, Texas, man. Get your affairs in order. Get your tickets, your plane tickets, your train tickets, your cars. Get all that stuff together, man. Get all your information from your camp leaders. If you're Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, make sure you're there. We're going to be celebrating the death and destruction of our enemies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. We're going to talk about in history when the Africans got killed when we was getting out of captivity in Egypt. But we celebrating all of the heathens going down so our people can rise. You understand? So here yeah, in right. Texas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Texas, be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to be up in there. I just wanted to make sure I say that. Salak, Yaki. Damn right, damn right. right. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Feel like your brother glad? Nah, I said, couldn't say it better myself. Damn right. Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. Christ. Yeah. Hey, look, so yeah. Like, ah, can on. I do that? No. Go ahead, get out of here. <laughs> my, my, rib just, my rib just got her dress for the Passover. She she happy. So like, oh, it's not. Most high in Christ. <laughs> Most high in Christ, sis. God. Yeah, so um, I'm plugged from the Matrix. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, you, you the, I'm right. Under Commander General Yohanna. To what I'm sure at, 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 at the Passover, most high Christ, at the Passover, we will not have General Butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we won't have no Nates either. <laughs> no Nates. No, no Nates in the rod, Bishop Nathaniel. Right. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're Most right. And 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 I I pray to the Most High that brothers and sisters don't wear purple at all. Hey, uh, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm, I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, good on the purple. Like, 
think I'm gonna cool back. Most time in Christ. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Hey, nah, but yeah. to water y'all brothers for having me, man. You understand? Hell yeah, brother. To water for coming to man. You man, I mean, even if I'm in a hell of pain right now, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, your your brother did an excellent job, you know. What I mean? To water. Most time in Christ. To water all your. You know what I mean? Hey, shalom. Yaw bashim shabak katam. 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 Yaw bashim shabak katam.